everyone, I'm Colleen. Remember last week when I hung out with my ex-boyfriend and it was really awkward? Let's do it again! You ready, Daisy? You ready to get embarrassed? Who am I talking to? You poop on yourself. You don't get embarrassed. Yeah. All right, y'all. So some of you really liked what I did last week. I'm doing it again this week. I'm going to have diarrhea for the next couple of days because I'm stressed and I'm very nervous. Here we have my high school diary. I read a little bit of it to you last week, but I basically didn't read you the best parts. The best parts of this diary are all about a boy named Michael. So Michael's a boy that I had a huge crush on for basically my entire existence of high school. I wrote about him a lot in here. So I found him on Instagram and I said, hey, will you be in a video with me? And he was like, uh, sure. I have not talked to him in like over a decade, so it's sure to be awkward. But first, let's read about him. Daisy, stop. I'm pretty sure I'm over the whole Michael deal. <laughs> no, I'm not. I also have to tell you this. Okay, so I knew my friend was gonna read this. I knew that she was a little snoopy, and I knew she was going to read my diary. I also thought maybe my mom might read my diary. So I wasn't completely true when I was writing about the boys in this diary, and you can see right through it, because I'm like, I don't like him anymore, ew. But it's like, why are you writing about him in your diary then if you don't like him? I definitely liked him. I'm pretty sure I'm over the whole Michael deal. I realized how much of a dork he is more and more each day. <laughs> I liked him so much. Basically the story of Michael is I saw him when I was 13 years old and I had a crush on him and I didn't tell anybody and finally I told my friend and she made fun of me for it and she was like you can't like him because like I kind of liked him once so it was like this whole girl code thing so I pretended I didn't like him when I really really did. Okay. And I've known forever that nothing's ever going to come of it so I don't even know why I still have a sort of thing for him. I think I'm just mostly physically attracted to him. I also above physically wrote, I can't spell, but I spelled physically correctly. So don't know why I did that. I'm mostly just physically attracted to him. That's it though. Anyways, new subject, because boys depress me. That was the first time I think I ever mentioned Michael in my diary and the tea gets real thick. Two pages later, I'm talking about him, so obsessed. Holy crap. I just had the craziest night ever. Mike came over to work on a PowerPoint project and we decided to watch a movie. So during the movie, he grabs my hand for like 15 minutes and it was totally awkward. It was not awkward, I love that shit. He grabbed my hand for like 15 minutes and it was totally awkward. And so I was like, uh, I've gotta make some popcorn. He had to leave, so I walked him out to his car and he kissed me! This was my very first kiss. Keep in mind, I knew someone would read this. So I didn't wanna write like, oh my gosh, I like him so much, he's so amazing, was so magical. I wanted to seem like I didn't care and I didn't like him, okay? And he kissed me! I was like, what? <laughs> right when he kissed me, I realized, ew, I don't like you anymore! <laughs> It's so not true. I backed away and I was like, I can't do this. And he asked if it was because of a friend. And I was like, that and other things. Sorry, call me tomorrow and I'll explain. Ha ha. Then I said this. Okay, so I was a little bitter toward him. I liked him for a long time and I felt like I was finally starting to try to get over him and that's when he started to like me. That really upset me. So you can feel a little bitterness happening in here. He thought he could use me to make my friend jealous and it ain't gonna work. I've been trying to get over him for two years and then all of a sudden he likes me? Right, cause that's how it works. Oh, my friend's gonna kill me. I can't believe it took a kiss for me to realize that I don't like him anymore. That's so crazy. Ew, I'm dreading talking to him tomorrow, that's gonna suck ass. LOL, I can't believe it. First of all, I can't believe I said LOL because this was like not in the times of saying stuff like that. Like this was right when the internet started to be a thing and like AOL Messenger, like I didn't have text messaging at this point. Maybe I was just ahead of the time, so I was ahead of the curve. Wow, majorly intense day. I was all ready to turn Mike down and he shows up at my house with soup and a note. The note is here, I have the note. Now, I don't have his permission to read this note, so I feel like I shouldn't, but I really want to. He's he's very sweet, and he writes out this whole note about how he never knew I was right under his nose all along, and he thinks we could make it work. So I started to freak out and went over to his house and told him I didn't like him anymore. Oh, I really did like him, and I was really excited that he finally liked me back. My friend was like, I don't, she, I knew she didn't want us to be together, so she was like, I'm gonna go with you, and I'm gonna watch you tell him that you're not gonna be together and it was so awkward. And I'm gonna bring it up when I see Michael tomorrow, so. That'll 
me if I am. The guy I spent almost three years getting over, and a month after I finally start to get over him, he likes me. He's a little bit late. Oh well. And the, oh, and then my mood down here is confused, upset, pitiful, and guilty. Oh, this is this entry is about a different boy that I have no contact with. But it was a guy I like, kind of liked for a hot second, who was like a popular guy. I can't stop thinking about who had Brian, and it sucks because nothing will ever happen between us. He's too into himself, and he cares too much about his reputation to go out with a little ugly, immature theater girl. And what sucks even more is he knows that I like him, and he pretends like he doesn't. He flirts with me, and I hate it because it makes me want to be with him more. He flirts with any and every girl he can, so I. I know it doesn't mean anything, but I don't know, whatever. Besides that, I'm basically happy. I'm usually in really good moods during the day. It's when I'm alone and the wheels in my head start turning. That's when I get upset and lonely. I'm just weird, I guess. Good night. Wow, my brain was such a disaster. So weird, I was so weird. There are tons of other really funny diary entries in here, by the way, that I would love to read to you guys. So if you guys want me to keep doing this, I totally can. But for today, I just wanted to read the stories about Michael because Michael is coming over tomorrow. He's gonna come over with his girlfriend <laughs> and I'm gonna read some of these pages to him, to his face and talk to him about my feelings. He doesn't know that I liked him for so many years. He has no idea. So I'm gonna admit that to him in front of his girlfriend and I'm gonna ask him to tell me what his perspective was on our relationship in front of his girlfriend. And then I'm gonna read some of these really embarrassing diary entries to him in front of his girlfriend. <laughs> so this is gonna be painfully awkward, but I'm really excited about it. Last week when I did it with my ex, when I did it, honey, choice of words. Last week when I met up with my ex-boyfriend from college, it was really actually fun and hilarious and we just had a great time. So I'm excited to do that again because I think that maybe, hopefully, it'll go well. He also texted me today and said he found some old footage from one of the talent shows at our school that I've never seen. Make sure to follow him and his girlfriend on social media to get excited about it because it's coming up on Friday. And make sure to subscribe to me, get tickets to my tour. I'm going all over the place. And also, make sure to pre-order my book, My Diary, where you can read all of Miranda's diaries. While I'm reading you my diaries, might as well learn about Miranda's too, so. Love you guys, I'll see you next time, bye!